Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and have a very good day. I'm going to demonstrate Structural Engineering Laboratory CES 511 Deflection of a Beam Level 2. As an introduction, beam are the structural element which carries load and transmit the load to adjacent column and support. Beam work by developing shear forces and bending moment along its length. When load is applied to the beam, beam will deflect. Figure 1 shows the behavior of beam under deflection, where the vertical line become a curve, it shows the deflection due to the load applied. Figure at the right showing the experimental setup in the laboratory. The apparatus is consists of support at left and also right and the beam specimen the dial gauge and also the load as an introduction the maximum deflection of simply supported beam subjected to pin load or point load at the mid span is given by the maximum deflection is equal to PL cube over 48 EI where P is equal to the applied load L is equal to span or length of the beam in meter E is the modulus yang of the beam I is equal to section moment of area of the beam or we also known as moment of inertia for rectangular section i is equal to bd squared over 12 where b and d are the width and depth respectively in this experiment the objective are to determine the maximum deflection of simply supported beam subjected to an increasing point load. Second, to investigate the effect of the beam material on deflection of beam. As a learning outcome at the end of this experiment, you should be able to determine the maximum deflection value of simply supported beam and describe the relationship between the deflection and the load applied. As a problem statement, beams are important structural member used in building construction. The design is often based upon their ability to resist bending stress. Excessive deflection in beam could cause cracking and failure of the beam where we call it as a tension failure. Figure 2 shows the deflection of the beam after we apply the load to the beam. Now, I'm going to demonstrate on deflection of beam experiment. Here is the deflection of beam apparatus. Before that, I'm going to introduce the element in this apparatus. So, we have two support, A and also B. We have this beam specimen. We have this dial gauge and then clipper to clip the hanger for the load and we have a ruler to measure the specimen. To set the apparatus, first one we have to place this specimen or this beam 
okay, on the support A and also support B and measure it one meter and tighten up the screw at both sides and make sure that the beam is in straight position. Okay, next we put the clipper here to hang this hanger load. Then we set up the dial gauge, okay, and make sure that the reading of this dial gauge is zero and it should touch the clipper here. Before we apply load, okay, to this specimen, we also have to measure the position of the load hanger okay from the support a and support b for this experiment we are applying the load at the center of this specimen so now i'm going to apply the first load which is five newton you may choose any weight of your load and then we we read the value from this dial gauge and record in table you have to repeat for five reading for this experiment to get the deflection value for this beam. So in my case here, for example, I add another five newton load and we read from this dial gauge and record the data in the table. Here are the data that you have to record for this experiment. So as we know, the length of the span is 1 meter or 1000 millimeter. The beam width is 25 millimeter. Beam depth is 5 millimeter with a Young modulus of 207 gigapascal. The figure shows the experimental free broad the figure shows the experimental free body diagram where in this example the load is applied at the center of the beam. So in your case you have to choose the position of the load that you're going to apply. For this laboratory, so it is open-ended laboratory level 2. Therefore, you are required to determine your own data based on any experiment that you can obtain from any references that acceptable for this experiment. So you have to record at least 5 data which is the load, distance of the load from support A, the mid-span deflection for the experiment, and you have to determine the maximum deflection based on the theoretical. After you determine your own data, you are required to prepare the experimental report based on the gut after you obtain the data, you have to prepare the experimental report based on the data that you have. You have to interpret the data, include all the analysis and calculation for the needed answer based on the objective and describe the relationship between the deflection and the load applied. Furthermore, in the discussion, as usual, you have to discuss about the laboratory work and should be reflecting with respect to objective of this study. As an application, normally, the deflection of the structure is determined when we apply load to the structure. For example, the steel beam structure have a deflection at the bottom part, we call it as a sagging part. It is also same for the concrete beam structure. 
So there is possibility of deflection when we apply load. In this case, so you have to discuss on the laboratory what did you understand about deflection based on the experiment that you have done. With that, thank you.